And first at 10, a bombshell game changer tonight in the Flint water crisis. All charges have been dropped, but the investigation will continue. In fact, State Attorney General Dana Nessel says it will start again from scratch. But for now, charges that were pending against eight people have been dismissed. Tonight, the former special prosecutor is speaking out. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live in Flint tonight. And so, Rudy, what does this mean exactly going forward? Flint's mayor says this could mean more serious charges filed against more people. Meantime, residents here say they are waiting for justice to be served. I always say you do the crime, you do the time. The faces of Flint ask for accountability and justice. Sky Walthall says they've been patient long enough. If you have to experience what we did, waking up every morning with your water not being pure, do that time. The crisis in Flint took another turn Thursday as pending charges against eight individuals caught up in the scandal were dropped. Special prosecutor in the initial investigation, Todd Flood, says one case was set for trial. Based on their investigation of what they're doing, they want to move in a different direction. And, you know, that's that's their prerogative. Flood says his team spent around $8 million. You hope and pray that this doesn't take as much time and money and effort because we had advanced the uh, investigation so far already. We have found new evidence. We found millions of documents that haven't been looked at, over 60 devices that haven't been looked at. We want a thorough investigation. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with Action News, Flint Mayor Karen Weaver says she was notified charges would be dropped but she's confident this is the right move in the long run. We want charges more than misdemeanor because what happened here was not a misdemeanor. Not only will it reopen and look at who, who has already been charged, but they may look at others that haven't been charged. Meanwhile, Cash Calloway says her family fled Flint in search of safe water after her five-year-old son's health took a turn for the worse. She says because of toxic water. His skin just started like breaking out. He already has eczema, and so it just started flaring up even worse. So I just stopped washing them up in that water. Her young son's health depended on it. They definitely should have filed them charges again because a lot of people are hurting in the city. And now while the special prosecutor combs through piles of new evidence and the mayor says more charges could be filed, residents here remain hopeful. Live in Flint, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.